One of the most interesting features of Islam is that the less you study it, the more you apparently know about it. Politicians and reporters who show, by the ridiculous things they say about Islam, that they've never read a single word of anything remotely resembling an authentic Muslim source are nevertheless experts on the topic of Islam. I can't think of another topic like this. Imagine a world where people who've never studied biology, who've never taken a biology class, who've never read a book or even an article on biology, appeared on television every day to explain biology to us. That would be a strange world indeed. Usually, if you're going to be explaining a subject to your listeners, whether it's science or mathematics or history or philosophy, you're expected to have a certain level of proficiency so that you don't mislead people. But when we get to Islam, the less you've studied it, the more you're expected to explain it for others. Take Ramadan, for instance. I've spent years studying Islam's most trusted sources. So when Ramadan was starting, as politicians and reporters were busy telling us that Ramadan is a month of peace, charity, and personal reflection, I warned everyone about the imminent Ramadan Bamathan. Now, we're not even halfway through Islam's deadliest month, but if you have the slightest respect for the scientific method, you have to agree that my hypothesis has been overwhelmingly confirmed. We've seen bombings and terrorist attacks across the Muslim world and even outside the Muslim world. And just today, Reuters reports... Suicide bombers and gunmen attacked Iran's parliament and the mausoleum of Ayatollah Khomeini in Tehran on Wednesday morning, killing at least 12 people in a twin assault at the heart of the Islamic Republic, Iranian officials and media said. Islamic State claimed responsibility and released a video purporting to show gunmen inside the parliament building and one body, apparently dead, on the floor. Attackers dressed as women burst through Parliament's main entrance in central Tehran, Deputy Interior Minister Mohammad Hossein Zulfagari said, according to the semi-official Tasnim News Agency. One of them detonated a suicide vest in the Parliament, he said. About five hours after the first reports, Iranian media said four people who had attacked Parliament were dead and the incident was over. Soon after the assault on Parliament, another bomber detonated a suicide vest near the shrine of the Republic's revered founder, Ayatollah Khomeini, a few kilometers south of the city, Zulfagari said, according to Tasnim. A second attacker was shot dead, he said. The shrine is a main destination for tourists and religious pilgrims. The terrorists had explosives strapped to them and suddenly entered the shrine and started to shoot around, said the shrine's overseer, Muhammad Ali Ansari. The intelligence ministry said security forces had arrested another terrorist team planning a third attack without giving further details. This is the point when we're all supposed to recall that fighting is forbidden during the month of Ramadan, which means that the jihadis who are launching these attacks every single day aren't real Muslims. That's what our leaders and our journalists tell us. There's just one small problem with their claim that Ramadan is a month of peace and tolerance. His name is Muhammad. Sahih Muslim. 2604. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Messenger of Allah set out during Ramadan to conquer Mecca. During Ramadan? Is this a misprint? We need a second opinion. Sahih al Bukhari, 4276. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet left Al Medina for Mecca in the company of 10,000 Muslim warriors in the month of Ramadan. When did Muhammad decide to conquer Mecca? During the holy month of Ramadan. And when Muhammad and his army arrived with his 10,000 Muslim warriors, the Meccans surrendered. The Meccans were the ones who didn't want to fight. 
Now I'm confused. Muhammad not only waged jihad during Ramadan, he insisted that his most devout followers wage jihad with him during Ramadan. If I didn't know better, which I don't, I might conclude that Muhammad didn't get his information about Islam from 21st century politicians and reporters. And guess what? Neither do Muslims. It's Ramadan. I guess I'll go to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to find out what I should do. Said no jihadi ever. Jihadis don't get their information about Islam from Western politicians and journalists. So the endless claims about Islam being a religion of peace and Ramadan being a month of tolerance and introspection do absolutely nothing to stop terrorist attacks. All they do is convince gullible Westerners to shield Islam from criticism while jihadis plot their next attack. And where will that attack be? Find out next time in the ongoing adventures of the Ramadan Bombathon.